Hi there, this is Charlotte Jacobs from Thrive Academy coming to you from my home office in Santa Cruz, California. And on today's video, you're going to discover another one of the missing elements that will make people want to spend more time with you and obviously become your client and invest in working with you. All right, so there you are at the networking event and you're having a conversation and it seems like you can help people. You've already watched the videos about the um, you know the earth element and the fire element before so you're connected you're showing up in service and you see that you can help them because they've shared what they're looking for next well, one of the biggest mistakes you can do is just go right into trying to close the sale uh, as you may or may not know with heart selling we change all of the language of selling because we never want to close deals or we never want to close someone instead we get commitments and we don't deal with objections we dance with concerns and there's a lot more I could say about the language but let's just take it with that right now um, and if you go immediately for closing the deal, it's weird, it's awkward, it feels like, oh gosh, we were just having this great connection and now you're going to pitch me on your thing, which in our language is an offer, but this isn't the right time for it. You've got to really slow down and make sure that your potential client knows that you see them. How are they going to know that you see them? You're going to use the metal element. The metal element is all about acknowledgement. So how do you acknowledge someone in a way that they feel really seen and gotten? Well, before I go there, I want to talk about what metal can look like out of balance because metal on one side out of balance, and this is a lot of what we see with a lot of clinical practitioners because maybe you were taught in a chiropractic or acupuncture, naturopathic school, whatever it is, um, that uh, you're just supposed to tell somebody what's wrong with them and then they're going to see all the stuff that's wrong with them and they're going to want to come in to work with you, right? Unfortunately, if you just do that, it's just extreme criticism and it doesn't feel good to someone. They might be left with, wow, what about all the work that I've already done? And I'm telling you, getting really getting acknowledgement is going to make you a better practitioner too because people are just going to want to spend more time with you. So that's out of, you know, that's the metal element out of balance is being too critical. Now, the other way that the metal element can be out of balance is in like an inauthentic flattery. And you'll see this, you know, when you see some old school selling techniques, you'll see somebody like say their name many, many times. So it just, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it feels a little strange. You know what I'm talking about? So um, when the metal element is out of balance and the flattery, it just would be like saying things that uh, just to kind of try and make them feel good, but it's not an authentic acknowledgement. So what does metal look like when it's in balance and you're really acknowledging someone and really seeing them? Well, what it looks like is that they feel like you've gotten who they are, you've gotten what their commitment is, and you've gotten, you know, really like what they want in their life, and you kind of really see them at a deeper level. So it might look like, I mean, it might sound like saying something like this. You're in the conversation, and um, maybe they even have a concern. This comes in really handy. Acknowledgement comes in really, really handy, actually, when somebody you're dancing with a concern. But let's say they say they can't afford it. Well, you could say something like, you know, I hear you. So you're acknowledging what they said. Um, I hear you. It sounds like this is feels like a big commitment to you, and uh, money is really a concern for you. And then you're going to acknowledge who you see them as. You know, and um, and you know, I really see you as a powerful woman or man. I really see you as a powerful woman who is really committed to getting this result. And then you can acknowledge something they said. You know, and I remember earlier you said in the conversation that you were really committed to growing your business if you're a business coach or um, really having your health be 100% top notch if you're a health coach or really having your relationship have that magical feeling again. So when you acknowledge someone in an authentic way where they feel really seen, you're going to find that they lean back into the conversation and they're a lot more open to you. Who else would they want to spend time with than someone who really gets them. At the Client Attraction Summit, we go deeply into an experiential exercise where you really understand what it's like to be acknowledged and to be an acknowledger in the conversations. This can completely transform how you talk with potential clients. In the meantime, I want you to try it out. Try it out with your partner or your spouse. Try it out with your kids. Acknowledgement is magical in every area of your life. As a matter of fact, it can improve all of your relationships. And let me know what you think about the metal element and, and acknowledgement by leaving a comment below. And if you like this video and you feel like it would be valuable for your friends, please share it on Facebook or on Twitter. All right, this is Charlotte Jacobs signing off because it's your time to thrive. The Fine Attraction Summit is coming soon.